Hi folks, it's Ron from Ideal. The Ideal Split Jaw Smart Meter is a rugged meter that can measure up to 200 amps safely by simply inserting an energized hot conductor inside the jaw of the meter. It can also measure up to 750 volts AC and 1000 volts DC, as well as resistance, continuity, and can test a diode. The meter safety rating is CAT3 for up to 1000 volts and CAT4 for up to 600 volts, which means it's safe to use inside or outside of a building. The meter automatically senses when measuring amperage, voltage, or resistance and switches accordingly. It provides dial-free testing, keeping you safe and focused on the job and not messing with the dial. I can demonstrate that by using this tester training board. First, turn on the tester by pressing the hold button once. The tester indicates the percentage of battery life and turns on. To turn the tester off, press the hold button for three seconds. The tester also has an auto power off feature when first turned on that will turn the meter off after 20 minutes if not being used. Notice the APO symbol is lit at the top of the display. You can turn this feature off by pressing the hold button for three seconds when you first turn on the tester and disable it. Notice the APO symbol is now gone. A good safety tip is to check to make sure your tester is working properly by checking its continuity. We can do that by touching the test leads together. The meter is automatically sensing resistance and the display drops to near zero ohms and an audible tone is heard. This tells us that the meter is working, the test leads are good and safe to use, and we can now go take some measurements. I can quickly check that the single pole light switch is working by checking its continuity. When I touch the leads to the two contact, the meter display drops to zero and we hear the audible tone. This tells me the light switch is turned on and is working properly. When I turn the light switch to off and make that same test, the meter display reads OL or over limit and no audible tone is heard. This indicates that the measured resistance is beyond the range of the meter. Using the tester training board, touch the black lead to the common pad and the red lead to pad number 7. The tester automatically senses DC voltage and reads the voltage of the two 1.5 volt batteries wired in series and as we'd expect, the tester reads about 3 volts. Pressing the hold button once and removing the leads, the tester holds and displays the last reading taken. Pressing the hold button again releases the reading. Now move the red lead to pad number 4 and again the tester automatically senses the resistance of a single 374 ohm resistor without having to turn a dial or change a setting. Moving the red lead to pad number 3, the tester now reads the resistance of four resistors wired in series about 700 ohms. Moving the red lead to pad number two, the tester reads the resistance of those same four resistors wired in parallel, which is a little under six ohms, and you will hear the audible tone. The tester only admits the audible tone at about 30 ohms and down, which is considered to be a circuit with continuity. Testing a diode to see if it's working, touch the black lead to the common pad and the red lead to pad number 6, and the meter automatically senses DC voltage and reads about 0.7 volts DC, and the diode symbol is seen in the display. Reversing the leads, the tester automatically senses resistance and reads OL or over limit. A diode in working condition limits the flow of current in only one direction, as we just saw. If you do not get a reading in either situation, the diode is not working properly. If you'd like to learn more about the split jaw smart meter from Ideal, please visit our website or contact our customer service department. We've been committed to the electrician for over 100 years. We know the job the way you know the job. And at Ideal, we build the tools and testers you need to get it done. Thanks for watching. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.